Hey, what is going on pros and pro S's? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to a, another drinks review. First of all, if you want to save 10% discount on X Gamer Energy products, don't forget to use code Mr. Lime. Or if you want to save 10% discount on X Site Energy products, don't forget to use code by Elliot. Both will be in the description below. So, anyways, today we are reviewing again another one of these Clipso drinks that have made their way from America into almost every corner shop in England. And today, oh boy, we're in for a treat. We're reviewing Triple Melon Lemonade. So all of the Clips of Drinks have kind of a lemonade or a limeade base, and they have different flavors to start off with, with the actual drink. And it contains my three worst things in life. Melons, three melons, triple melon. How can it get any worse? You guys know who've watched my videos over the years, Melon drinks and watermelon drinks do not go well with me. So the fact I'm having triple melon, is this the day of reckoning? We'll have to find out. So anyways, did I get this can for, or, or jar, I'm just going to I'm gonna call it glass, jar, bottle, can, whatever, just to make life easy. So I got this particular can out of, uh, I think this one came out of the market actually. It was a market store, we had all the clips of favours, they're all still in day, you're selling them for... Uh, two pound each, which is not too bad actually. People have been selling these for four pound upwards in corner shops, which is which is ridiculous. But yeah, two pound for this one, which is not too bad. And this is the bigger one as well. It's not the smaller version, which is I've seen out and about now. And uh, like I said, it's the triple melon uh, lemon aid with real lemon bits, which I can show you guys in a second. So I give you guys a four three sixty of the jar. So we have. So first of all, it's uh, it's the ounce, so it's 1.25 pints or 591 milliliters. So as always on the front, we have a bright looking kind of, you know, awesome looking design. It's kind of, you know, it's bright, it's colorful, it's in your face, it just looks good. And then we have nothing, and then on the back, we have nutritional facts rather than information because it's American. And then we have the little tiger himself, which you'll read as well in a second. We have clips that kind of on top of the jar, kind of, you know, on top of the, uh, on the uh, jar there, in, in bezel, whatever you call it, painted in, marked, whatever. And then we have a yellow cap saying, pick me. No, don't pick triple melonade. And then uh, it's yellow and it's got little segments as well. So as you can see, I will pour it into a cup, but there is bits in there. I don't know if you can really see on the camera. Yeah, there's loads of bits. There's loads of bits down there, as you can see. There's actually quite a lot of bits in there if I put it up to my light. Again, I don't know how you can see that on the camera, but there is a lot of bits in there, which is good. So, taste of the island, shake well, oh yes, and the real lemon bits. So, nutritional facts. So, it says 6% juice. Apparently, it's 2.5 servings, but to be honest, most people are going to drink that in one uh, or half, not 2.5. That's weird. Uh, sugar content. Now, it's got it, again, amount per serving because it doesn't do per 100 mil in America. And so, it's 2.5 servings, amount per serving, 25 grams of sugar. So, that's about... 50 to 60 grams of sugar in here, which is a lot. I mean, I know it's almost a 600 ml can, but, you know, a typical American drink full of sugar. Um, vitamin A, 0%. Vitamin C, 6%. Iron, 0%. And calcium, 0%. Yes, it actually says 0% on them. Uh, let's see, filled water, sugar, lemon, yep. King Juice Company, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, yes, natural flavors, island inspired. So let's read this little biopsy here by Jojo. Taste of the Islands. A wise man once said, a wise man once said, three is always better than one. I can tell you he was sipping on this watermelon, Cantor Lupe and Honeydew blend of the islands. This tropical, this triple tropical lemonade trio brings me to a place of good vibes and great times. Now, if you like me, who's got a dirty mind, I read the first part of that sentence different. But we'll leave that to your imagination. So anyway, let's give it a good shake. Now, I have got a cup, my Mr. Lyman HD review cup, as you can see. After we've given this a good shake it, shake it. And I have left the plastic on to see how easy it is to take off for, for authentic purposes. Right, now, where is actually... Where is it? Um... Doing it live, guys. Where is it? There it is. Lovely, nice and easy, how it should be. 
So we've already seen the color. Like I said, we've got a cup, so we're gonna pour it into the cup and then look at the color in a bit more detail rather than having the logo in the way. So I should say, so the uh, bits have gone absolutely everywhere. So let's, um, again, we know the color, but we can pour it into a cup. It's nice and cold. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it does not explode over me. It shouldn't do, because these are non-fizzy, guys. God, blimey, that one's tough. This should go pop. There we go. Right. So let's give it a pour into the. Oh, it's all the it looked, I thought that was mold at first, but it's all the bits on the side of the top of the uh, um, of, of the jar. There we go. Oh, look at all that sugary watermelony goodness. Oh dear. There we go. So, given a close look, as you can see, yeah, there's loads of bits in there. I'm sure the camera can pick that up. My uh, iPhone 6s camera, I'm sure it can pick that up. Loads of bits in there, which is good. Some people don't like bits. I personally love bits. I prefer more bits, like orange juice with bits, but it's still got bits in it. That's fine. And again, it makes it look look a little bit cooler. The colour is indeed pink, actually. <laughs> it literally looks like a... It's either... Well, it's not pink. It's like a really kind of violet... Well, not really violet, violet purple it's just a really kind of yeah it's a really nice looking pink purple color really light purple really dark off pink color if that makes sense but yeah really nice color really it's it's um, don't really see much purpley pink drinks about really do you? so yeah it looks nice and cool there uh it's non-see-through it's not super cloudy but with the bits in there it's kind of you can't really see through it too well but for the most part you can't really see through it so i couldn't smell it while i poured out so let's give it a closer smell now hmm I'm surprised even for having three sets of melon in there honeydew cantaloupe and uh, watermelon it definitely doesn't smell as strong as I was expecting it definitely doesn't smell as strong as like uh, Lucas Aid's melon or Rubicon's watermelon it just doesn't smell that tame which I'm pleased about I guess because it's got a lemonade back in, it's kind of dulled down the melon, which hopefully is going to be a good thing once I drink this. Yeah, really doesn't smell that strong, but nevertheless, let's taste some. Wow. Okay, interesting. Wow. I tell you what, straight off the bat, I could not taste a melon. I'm shocked by that. I've pretty much almost got a lemonade base in there. And oh, that melon aftertaste though. Just getting that, letting that sit in my mouth for a bit. That melon aftertaste really kind of came in there at the end, just lightly. But for the most part, I'm shocked. Triple melon, get out of here. That is literally nowhere near as strong as I was expected. I, I can't believe it. That's, I'm actually going to say that's all right, straight off the bat. Drinking it, honestly, I'm shocked. As I said, that lemonade backing is so strong in there, I can barely taste any of the melon. And so, so I'm drinking it, and yes, this is really sweet. It is a really sweet drink, not syrupy, just sweet, sugar sweet. So it's not syrupy like the American Fanta's or something like that, because it hasn't got the high fructose corn syrup which the fizzy drinks have. But it's just sugar sweet, so it is really, really sweet. Some people won't like that. Some people will like it. I don't mind really sweet drinks, but I will definitely not drink all of that because of the sugar. But um, in terms of triple melon, no, I literally can't try and figure out what melon is. I can't. If anything, it's just a mild melon flavour in the background. So I drink it. I get a real good lemonade burst throughout the whole drink. Again, really kind of sweet lemonade. To be honest, it doesn't really taste like that, like that real lemonade. I guess that's just all the sweetness kind of beefing up the flavour of the lemonade and stuff. But um, as I said, you drink it at the lemonade throughout the whole drink, which again is sweet. And then as I said at the end, and then the aftertaste, you kind of got that little bit of melon hiding there in the background. It's like, hi, I'm supposed to be triple melon. And yeah, it's literally just a very dull, generic melon flavour at the end. Very minimal. It is very minimal flavour. I mean, I'll happily drink the rest of that in a couple of days because it's so sugary and I hate sugar but yeah that's 
that's not bad at all. I'm really shocked by that. I was really expecting this to be real nasty of melons. <sighs> yeah, not bad at all. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like that little back of that little backing of melon there in the background. But from what I was expecting, that is nothing compared to what I was expecting. So but do I give that a thumbs up? Because I definitely wouldn't buy that again because there's loads of other lemonade Calypso drinks with other flavour backings, which are way better. I think there's even the standard original lemonade rather than having to choose triple melon. But I think as a triple melon, I think it gets a thumbs down because there just is barely any melon, melon flavour there. And triple melon, there is just no flavour there, barely whatsoever. So I think for that reason, it gets a thumbs down. But I think as the drink it is, as for me personally hating melon, it gets a thumbs up because I'm like, well, I will drink the rest of this because the melon flavour is so minuscule. But overall, it gets in the middle because, like I said, I don't mind it because it doesn't taste the melons. But then if you like melon, then it's not strong enough for you and it's too lemonadey, and you you'll be you'll be disappointed by by the melon melon drink melon flavour. So yeah, interesting drink, but I'm just in shock. I'm just in shock. I was so expecting that to be way stronger. But there you go. Surprises you every day, doesn't it? So, anyways, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.